Once you've gone through these steps, you should have a very good idea of the type of CBTC solution that you, that, that you need. And now it's simply a matter of writing that concept operation document. Now, this is a table of contents that I've extracted from IEEE and ANSI. Many of the topics are coming from those two standards. I have just tailored it to the CBTC states. Now, you don't need to read this whole thing now. My template covers this already. I just wanted to highlight some of the broad, some of the high level topics that are there. Uh, everything that I've discussed in this webinar is covered here, but not everything. Take for example, section two, the existing signaling system. Obviously, the operator understands that better than anyone else and they could handle that topic on their own. Justification, well, that will become self-explanatory once you've gone through this exercise, why you're justifying the need for a CBTC system. Uh, section 4.0, which is the operating environment, this was step number two of my webinar, which defines the users, the priorities and concerns. Uh, section 5.0, which is a proposed CBTC system overview. overview. This was step, uh, step four, which defines the system cap or sorry, step three, which defines the system capabilities uh, based on the priorities and concerns of the, uh, uh, of the users and operators. Uh, 5.5 is system interface and boundaries, which we just talked about earlier, is defining all the boundaries and the third party suppliers that the CPT system would have to interface with. And then 6.0, which is operational scenarios, uh, which talks at a high level, some of the operational scenarios that a transit agency would need to, uh, would need to deal with. I've highlighted a few topics here. There may be more. Every agency has uh, other operational scenarios that they, need, that they would like to document and possibly have the CBTC system uh, address. And then section 7.0, which is to analyze the proposed system. This is the template that I, Triple and ANSI uh, recommend should be followed. Um, I just tailored it uh, to the CBTC space. There are some topics that I ignored, some topics that I included, um, but I've customized it for uh, a CBTC application.